What is up, my fellow net dwellers? Couch Command here, and we are doing a little bit of a different video. This is actually the start of my series teaching you guys how to make some different dedicated servers. Specifically, we're making a server for the Game Pass version of Starbound today. Make sure you hit that like button if this video helps you out. Comment down below on what dedicated servers you'd like to learn how to make. And subscribe to the channel to get more of my weekly content. Now let's jump into it. All right, guys, so whenever you're in the Game Pass version of Starbound, when you click play here, you'll notice you have two options. Start as a Starbound server or a Starbound. So the Starbound server is actually your dedicated server, and I'm going to walk quick through how to use it. So first, we're actually going to go into your documents, and we're going to go to your documents folder. You'll notice your Starbound folder here. Inside of here, we've got the Starbound server config. You'll need to open it with a text editor like Notepad++, Code, Visual Studio. You can use a standard text editor, but the formatting is not going to be the night assist. So what this is, is a standard JSON. I say JSON because of the format here. So JSON is basically you have those opening and closing brackets with uh, your quotes, dot, dot, whatever. So this is standard JSON, and this is the default one that comes with it. I'm going to give you a brief overview of some of these server settings. First of all, you have allow admin commands. This is just whether or not you allow anyone to be able to use admin commands on your server. I have it set to true, which allows specifically somebody who is authenticated to use admin commands. Allow admin commands from anyone is false, which means only certain people can use them. Allow anonymous connections. Now, unless you're going to actually configure what users, you'll notice server users down here, are allowed to connect, you need to allow anonymous connections. So allowing anonymous connections lets anyone connect to your server versus if you turn that to false, you'll need to actually specify down here what people can connect. Allow asset mismatch means that they can be on different packs than you are, they can have different assets than you can. Anonymous connections are admin, basically is can an anonymous connection be an admin? Can a user that logs in anonymously be your admin? If you have that set to false, it's obviously a no. So probably what you're going to, going to, going to want to do to actually set yourself up as admin is you're going to want to add yourself to the server user here for your ID. Next up, we have clear player files, which basically forces the player to have new gear, new starting character whenever they join in. So it'll clear out all their existing stuff They'll clear out all their existing stuff where they won't be able to bring stuff that they already have available in their universe into your game. Same with the clear universe file. Clear universe file will force the player to use fresh universe data when they connect. Client 1P joinable is whether or not the clients can connect over IP. Sorry, that's client IP joinable. So actually, we want to set this to true because we're going to be doing IP forwarding with our public IP address to allow them to join. Client P2P means peer-to-peer -peer joinable. So we can allow that to be joinable as well. So you want your clients to be able to join via as a peer or join via IP. Next, we have the filter have materials. Whenever this is set to true, this will force the server to actually check and make sure the player actually has the materials whenever they're trying to craft something versus relying on their internal stuff to do it. You can set it to true or false. I mean, it all depends on if you're playing with people you trust or not. The game server bind is the address you're going to be binding your server to or the name you're binding your server to. Basically, by leaving it as a wildcard, they can join off of any binding. The game server ports is the port that they'll have to use to connect to your game. Interactive highlight is just whether or not whenever somebody's hovering over something, it'll highlight that the item is interactable. Pick up to action bar is whether or not whenever a person picks up inside of your server, it's going to go up into the action bar automatically. The max players is how many people can join your server. Max team size is how many people can be on a team in your server. Player backup file count is how many backup files we're going to have for it. The query server information is for doing a query server and Archon is so you can actually remote administer your server. You'll notice both the query server and Archon server are set to false by default. So neither of those are enabled. Safe scripts is true, which is just enable some protections for you as far as what scripts are going to be able to be ran. Scripts instruction limits is how many instructions a script can run. Measure interval and script profiling. Basically, all this is for uh, whether or not people can use scripts whenever interacting with your server. 
Server Fidelity, I'm not quite sure what it does. I'm just gonna leave that as the automatic as far as the default goes. The server name, you can set this up to whatever you want your server to be called. The server users is where we're going to be putting any specific users we wanna grant access to. The tutorial messages are just the in-game tutorial messages if we have those enabled. So that lets the in-game AI tell people to do stuff. All right, so now to set up a admin. So you would actually come in and specify your name as far as what name you're going to be using to connect with. And then you can actually go ahead and do admin on that user that you're creating. You wanna set that to true if you're actually going to be the user of it. Next, you'll set up the password for it, which is the password that user needs to log into. And now you'll be able to log in and assume the role of an admin whenever you log into the server. So basically the only way to actually have a password set up for users when you're wanting to connect is to actually specify the users here. So if you're wanting to restrict it where only certain people can log into your server, you're going to need to actually set up the server users with passwords here. On the flip side, if you're going to allow anyone connect or allow, uh, not that one, but allow anonymous connections where you're allowing anyone to connect in, there's not going to be a password on it. So that's how the whole server password piece to this works. So if you want to actually use a server password, make sure you turn the anonymous connections to false and then specify all of your users here in a list. basically like this. And you're just going to set all the other people that you're having join that you don't want to have admin access to false, and then you'll configure the password for each of those users. And then just make sure that username matches. But that is the basics as far as the config on this goes. All right, now that we're done with the setup of the config, let's go ahead and launch our Starbound server real quick. We're gonna come into Starbound, go play a game and launch our Starbound server itself. We're gonna let that run. Then to validate, we're actually up and running. Let's go ahead and click on play and we're gonna click Starbound. <laughs> we're gonna join game. We're gonna pick our existing guy and you'll notice your server account here and you'll notice our names here. So these right here are gonna be our server accounts. So our first account is our admin account. So it's your name. And our admin password is testing. You'll also notice we have anonymous connections turned off. So we actually should have to be validated to connect. So if we're able to join here, not only did we join, we've joined as an admin account. So that's how you actually configure it where you have people able to connect is you're just going to set up their name as far as what the server is going to be and that piece there. And so the server is up and running. Now I'm going to show you the port forwarding piece. So I'm using an Orbi device. I'm going to come over into my advanced settings. Advanced setup, there we are. So here's port forwarding and port triggering as far as my stuff goes. You'll notice I have a couple of ports set up here already. So all I'm going to be doing is actually add a custom service. And the service name is going to be Starbound. The external port we need to specify, which we had that in our config, it's the... The 21025. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and set 21025 to the port for the external forwarding. And we're gonna specify we wanna have that specifically point to our 192.168.1.6, that same IP address that we're using here. And we're going to go ahead and apply it. So now we have that external port set up. So if people connect to our external IP address, they'll be able to, and that port, they'll get forwarded onto that specific address. The last setup in this is to just go out to good old Google. And you are going to want to do what is my IP. 
And this IP address here is what you're going to be sharing with people. The thing is, most of you are not static IPs. Unless you pay for a static IP, you're not a static IP. So that IP address will change. So make sure whenever you're setting up your friends to join your server that day, you go ahead and do this again and get your latest IP address because it will change over time. But that is how you set up a Starbound dedicated server. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any suggestions for other games or mods that you'd like to see on the channel, please message me on Twitter at Couch Command, that's CouchCMD, or feel free to join me in my Discord. Links at the top of my channel page as well as over in my description. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below on what other dedicated servers you'd like to make. And subscribe to the channel for more of my weekly content. This is Couch Command, and you all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.